Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn a very useful transaction of SAP that is IW28, which is used to change any list of notifications as per our selection. For this, we will press IW28 in our transaction tab. When you will press and write uh, this transaction code in your tab, this page will appear in front of you. You all uh, must be aware of this uh, main page, but let me explain again what are the details that we have to enter to get our desired results. First of all, this is the main line which is asking us <clears throat> that which what type of notifications that we are going to change either these are outstanding postponed in process completed etc so out of these four first we can put filter for any one of these options for example i want to get the list of in process notifications only then i will uh, select this box only in process and the notification that will appear in front of me would be the in process ones going down if I know exactly the notification numbers I will write the notification number here or I can enter a complete list of notifications by going to multiple selection similarly the notification type M1 to M4 I can enter here the other going down it's the functional location for, for one complete line or a warehouse or a quality department etc or going down it's the further detail if we want to enter the equipment number then we will be able to get the list of notifications against that particular equipment number going down its material the material code if we have the material codes available for a particular machine or equipment we can enter here going down it's the order number if we I want to enter the order numbers further going down um, we can enter the descriptions upon which we have to put filter then the created by tab if we know that this is the user who has created these notifications I can just enter its name here and we will get the, get the complete list of notifications then created on coding priority maintenance plan planning plant planner group etc all of these are the uh, fields that I can enter in and I can get my desire, desired result accordingly here we will take take an example for example I want to get the list of all the notifications M1 to M4 I have entered a complete range and I have entered this functional location PRD 00098 so and this is the period of time I will change the time as well I am changing it to 1st Feb 2022 to 25th March 2022 so I have entered only three arguments here the notification type I have entered a range the function location I have entered one single function location and for notification date I have entered a range what I will do I will press the execute button in this way and now you will see these are the notifications that have appeared in front of us these are the notification numbers so these notifications are in process all of these are in process these are not completed yet these are related to single function location only PRD 00098 that I have entered earlier this is during that duration of time 1st Feb to 25th March and third one is these are all type of notifications for this particular function location these are M1, M2, M3, M4 all the notifications are here so I can open any one of these just like that I am opening this one and I can change anything uh, in this notification I will save again so you can see for, from this transaction uh, I am able to see a complete list of notification as per my uh, criteria and I am able to make any change in the notification 
going back let's let's do another thing let's we uh, we want to get only m1 type of notifications i have removed another filter and i have narrowed it down again i have entered notification type as m1 only and it's still in process i will press execute now we will see a lesser number of notifications appear you see this number has reduced first earlier the number of notifications were uh, a bit uh, high now it, these are on the lower side so you can see you can make any change in the notification similarly if i change the uh, functional location i can get the result as well so for this function location these are the m1 type notification that are created in system and these are the orders that are created against this notification this is notification date creation date requirement start functional location description description of that particular machine right this is the description here of that notification this is the equipment number cost center for which that cost will be charged and this is created by this user so you can see very easily that this is a very useful transaction iw28 where you are able to get a complete list of notification as per your requirement and you can change make any change in any notification uh, through that transaction so i hope this will be a very useful session for all of you for any question you can just write in the comments tab please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time bye bye